Closer to home, a more mundane variety of magnet plays a slightly less crucial role in our existence. As it clings to the appliance we visit about 11 times each day. Refrigerator magnets have enabled us to turn this nucleus of the American home into an information center and art gallery. Ever wondered where these indispensable little gadgets come from? There's no better place to start looking than FlexMag Industries in Marietta, Ohio. There's at least a 50-50 chance that the products on your refrigerator were made at this facility. FlexMag rolls out up to 100,000 pounds of magnets every day. From the strips that secure your shower door, to the signs you can stick to the side of your car. The two main materials that we use in our flexible magnets are synthetic rubber and then also ferrite powder. This material is made from strontium carbonate and iron oxide. This magnetic powder is only very finely magnetic. As you can see, it doesn't really stick to itself very well, so it has to be very fine and airborne before it'll stick to anything metal. This is where the life of your fridge magnet begins, in what FlexMag calls an intensive mixer. After workers throw in the rubber, bags and all, the ferrite powder showers on top of it. We use rotors to distribute the material evenly, and then there's a large ram that puts pressure on the mix as it is mixing. Between those two, we get an even distribution, and we readily mix the ferrite throughout the rubber. It takes approximately five to seven minutes to run a batch. Once the material is discharged from the uh, intensive mixer, it's not in a format that we can use. So we dump it into what we call a batch extruder. We maintain the temperature of about 275 degrees through this process in order to keep the material so that it's able to extrude it easily. Next, conveyors transfer the extruded compound to other machines that granulate and cool it. Then the powdery mixture passes through heated rollers that press it into a thin sheet. At this point, this humble material wouldn't stick to your fridge or anything else metallic. But now it's finally ready to pass over the simple device that'll turn it into a magnet. It's a roller consisting of powerful permanent magnets classified as rare earths. These particular rare earth magnets are neodymium iron boron and are positioned such that their north and south poles alternate along the length of the roller. Before the sheet passes over this roller, uh, the small ferrite particles in there are really not aligned magnetically in any form or fashion. As they pass over this, the field that is produced off of this rare earth magnetic roller aligns those little particles in the sheet to create a magnetic pattern on the sheet. And those would be a mirror image of what uh, this magnetic pattern is on this roller. Seconds after the sheet's bottom side is magnetized, a machine laminates its non-metallic top side. This is the side that'll stare back at you from your refrigerator, emblazoned with everything from calendars to the phone number of your local pizzeria. But before FlexMag ships the rolls to its clients who apply those touches, how can it be sure of its product's stick to itiveness? One of the ways we make sure that the magnetic material is actually magnetized is we use sheet vellum. The vellum is actually two thin pieces of plastic with a liquid medium in between that holds fine magnetic particles that align with the magnetic pattern. And this material will show you the magnetic imprint on the magnetic sheet. As you can see, it's the same magnetic imprint that we used on the rare earth magnet roller. Magnets have been leaving their distinctive mark on civilization for more than 2,000 years. And it all started with the discovery of a curiously attractive rock. Thank you.